Hope you know me in course and welcome back to my channel and this video that is going to be an update of my 2016 yearly favorites. Do you say that? Year 2016 yearly favorites. Ugh, like three seconds into the video and I'm already messing up. <laughs> Sorry about that. If you think I sound a bit different or that my energy is a bit low, it's because I'm actually sick. Uh, I've gotten some kind of... I don't know, cold, I've been sneezing and coughing all week and I've got a bit of a fever but I was just so bored and I wanted to film. So I did film this look and I did film a video before this but I did put a gloss on now and I put my hair up because I'm just at the end of my <laughs> energy level and my lips were like the Sahara Desert so I just need to do something about that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing through people and yeah, I was so excited to film this and I have last year's favorites right here and I was like if you are a beauty youtuber when you come to December you start to like think about what was my favorites what is going to be 2017's year's favorites am I saying that right I don't think I am anyways and I was like you know what I'm going to begin with looking at what my favorites were last year and that's when the idea came to mind you know what I should do an update like tell you are these items still a favorite and when I started looking at the favorites from last year I'm like damn some of these things were gonna be my favorite for this year so I think instead in my yearly favorites for 2017 I'm gonna mention the things that I discovered this year because I'm still using a whole bunch of things that are on this list so last year I divided them into face products eye products, brow products, lip products, and extras. So we're going to go through all of them and I'm going to tell you if I still love them and if I still use them. Let's start off with face products. The favorite face product of 2016 for me was the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. I still love that primer, but it is not my number one primer anymore. And if you've been on my channel for a bit, you know which my number one is. And I'm going to mention the that one in this year's favorites but it's still good it's really good and I'm almost out of it there's a couple of things that I've actually used up and a couple of things that I've hit pan on would you be interested in seeing like beauty empties and things I've hit pan on let me know because I could film that I have a couple of things I can mention I'm also mentioning the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless and the Kat Von D Locket Concealer still love both of these things I've been using the Matte and Poreless like crazy and the Kaplan D concealer I actually ran out of it. I bought a new one and I actually got another one sent to me as PR. So I actually have rebought both of these two products during this year as well. I still love them. They're amazing. I love both of them. The next thing that I mentioned was stop it. So rude. Was the uh, Laura Geller Baked Balance and Brighten Powder Foundation. You know what? I didn't use this that much this summer and I don't know why. When I saw this I was like, I need to pull that one out again and use it. I love using that for when I just want to have like a sheer cover, when I already have like a nice, nice skin and I just want to get super sheer cover and just even out my skin tone and take away the shine. I love that. I also love it as a setting powder over like a foundation to get really full cover. I still love that product but I haven't used it for a bit. I really should. I need to pull it out. Next one I am talking about is Freedom Makeup Pro Contouring Kit in Fair. I love this product. I still use it a lot. Not too long ago I actually bought a new one. So this is the new one because the old one I've hit pan on that one so bad. So I still love that product and this banana powder is great on your eyes and the contour thing. And it's a bit neutral, um, so I would prefer it to be actually a bit warmer because I usually don't contour, I'm more bronze, but that is just personal preference. Uh, this one is great if you are fair to light and I love this. It also comes in a medium, but then instead of being a powder, it is like a bronzer and contour, I don't really know why. And it also comes in light and then it's more of a pink undertone which is also really nice so i love this product and it's so affordable next product i talked about is actually this balm desert by the balm was my favorite bronzer of 2016 and look i hit pan on this one i hit pan on this this year i love this one i love this so much more than the hula bronzer this is lighter it's easier to apply it has a satin sheen to it and you can use this as a bronzer and a blush I think it's amazing. I still love this one. I'm coughing so much. Oh, I'm gonna have to edit this video like crazy. I also mentioned a blush. That was the H&M Beauty blush in 
brown sugar. I still love that blush, but it's not the blush that I've been using most this year, so I'm definitely going to mention some new favorites when this year's video comes up. I also mentioned the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Still love it, but there is another powder that's been taking that powder's place. It's going to be so nice to mention my new favorites to you. Also, I mentioned my favorite highlighter of the year being the Luxie Beauty Highlighter in Stripped. Oh, I love that highlighter. It is a beautiful pink highlighter. I've been using it so much this year as well. I actually used it just a couple of days ago. It is absolutely stunning. It is beautiful and it's still one of my favorites. So I'm going to have to mention some other favorites for this year. But I have actually, I've discovered a lot of really good highlighters this year. So it's going to be nice to get into that. Maybe I'm going to have to make more than one yearly favorites videos. Oh. Next item on my list is for brows, and I only have one product, and it's discontinued. And I'm so sad because it's still a favorite, but I ran out and I can't buy another one. And it is the Tattoo Brow by Kat Von D. It was the felt tip one where you could draw in straws, which is amazing if you have sparse brows like me. And they discontinued it, and the one from Anastasia Beverly Hills is not as good, and I'm just so sad. It was an awesome product, and now it's gone. And I'm sad. Now we're into eyes and I mentioned H&M cream eyeshadows as being a fave. I haven't used those that much this year. A couple of times for half cut creases but the H&M cream eyeshadows are bomb. If you like cream eyeshadows and you want to get some on the budget, the H&M beauty cream eyeshadows are so good. I also mentioned Dubious Place Masquerade palette as my fave last year. And I also mentioned that the new palettes from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics, which was the metal palette and the vintage palette, was like close second. And I still love all three of those palettes. I use them so much and it's going to be so hard to say which was my favorite palette of this year so hard. I also mentioned some single eyeshadows and I think that this year I'm gonna do a video in the beginning of January saying my favorite single eyeshadows of 2017. Would you like that? Because I feel like I can mention a bunch of really like interesting, fun and good colors that I have discovered in this year, that like during this year because I have found so many. Would you like to see that? Because I feel like that could be a fun video. I think that that could be a fun video, but I mentioned here my favorites being MAC Coral, still love that one, it's such a great transition shade for summer when you want to have something poppy. I also mentioned Coastal Scents, Bronzed Peach and Periwinkle, ugh, I love both of them, I actually used Periwinkle the other day. Makeup Geeks, Single Eyeshadows in Mai Tai, I'm Peachless and Chit Chat. I love all three of those shades, they're so good. Oh god, I hope Makeup Geek comes out with more single eyeshadows for 2018 because she's, oh, they're so good. And then Luxy, I mentioned um, Atomic. It is one of my favorite shadows from Luxie, but she's released some really interesting colors this year. I bet I can mention some really good ones. And now Atomic is also in a loose pigment. Ugh, it's so good. I love Atomic. And Atomic is that metal formula from Luxie, and that is my favorite eyeshadow formula, I think, of all time. It is so good. I mentioned Inglot Pigments. I still love Inglot Pigments. Oh, they're so good. I see here that I mentioned especially 113. The ones that are like 110, 111, like the, the something 110 and up, that series, so sparkly, they're so good. I love the Inglot pigments. I love Inglot. They're so underestimated. I mentioned Pran's eyeliner pen uh, from Colourpop. I think I've used that in like 15 tutorials on my channel. I love that pen. It is that baby blue cream pen eyeliner from Colourpop. That is my favorite pen this year as well. So. What am I going to mention instead? I mentioned the NYX Vivid Brights eyeliners, no, the colorful liquid eyeliners from NYX. I still love them, but I haven't used them as much this year as I did last year. I, f I think I've mainly been using black eyeliner, which is so boring. That's not really me. I should really change that up until next year. And my two favorite lashes were the Bellas from New Bouncem and Duff Lashes in Viva Glam. Still love both of those lashes so much, but I've been more into the tapered lashes this year than the really fluffy ones. Although in the beginning of the year, I did a lot of fluffy lashes. I'm gonna have to look back at my videos and see. But right now, I think I know what my favorite is, but I might have to mention more than one pair because I have so many favorites. <laughs> 
And then lips, I am mentioning the NYX Slim Lip Liners. Oh, I love them so much. They're so good and so affordable. I especially here mention Nude Pink. Nude Pink is so beautiful. I think I've been using nude, like Peekaboo Neutral more this year. Peekaboo Nude? Peekaboo Neutral. I don't know. Any one of those, but I still love the NYX Slim Lip Liners. And I mentioned MAC Lipstick in Modesty. And I, when I read that, I was like, oh, I used to use that lipstick all the time. I haven't used it for a bit. Modesty is a cream sheen with a like a cooler pink undertone. It's beautiful. Like it fits me when I'm fair. It fits me when I'm when I'm tan. It goes so well with colorful looks because it's not it has a cooler undertone but still it's not like Pink. Oh, I love Modesty so much. It is my favorite MAC lipstick still. I think it's so good. I'm also mentioning the H&M Beauty Pure Luster Gloss in Bermuda Sands. Such a good shade. It is a milky beige. Oh, so beautiful. I have not used it that much this year though, but it is a beautiful gloss. It's somewhere here. And then I'm mentioning the Liquid Lipsticks by JD Glow and Ofra, and I still love those so much. I think Ofra might be my favorite formula of all time. I'm using that so much. Maybe I'll have to like mention new shades this year or something. <laughs> we'll see. And then I'm mentioning the Ultra Matte Lip from Colourpop, especially in Naughty. Oh, Naughty is so good. Naughty is actually a limited edition shade from Colourpop. And it's the first item ever that I bought a backup of. Because they released it for a holiday last year. I bought one, I fell in love instantly, and it, it was my favorite shade. And then they released it again for the spring collection, so I bought another one. And I still haven't, hasn't, haven't <laughs> cracked into that one yet, but it's waiting here in the back of the pile, and it's such a beautiful color. I hope they bring it back again, because it is stunning. It is that neutral, super pale, like, nude that is very comfortable, and it's perfect to do ombre lips with. It's so... Stunning. And then for extras, I mentioned the Glitter Glue, Morphe Brushes M433, and oh, a perfume, Yves Saint Laurent Long. Oh, that's a men's perfume. I still use that one. Should I mention my favorite perfume from this year as well? Let me find that M433. Which one is that? One sec. Oh my god, I totally forgot about this brush. I used to love this brush so much. I apparently put it away to try some other brushes. But now I remember this brush, I love this so much. Okay, I'm going to use this a bit more. I have been using this a lot. This needs to be cleaned. It's the Morphe 44, M441. But this one is smaller. I used to love this. Oh, I'm going to use it so much more. I'm going to put that back in the favorite pile. I used to love that brush. I'm so excited I found it again. Thank you, this video, for making me look for that brush. I love that brush. There is actually very few Morphe brushes that I love, but that one is definitely one of them. And I do have another Morphe brush that I need to mention this year as a favorite because I've been using it so much. Oh, and I discovered Sigma this year. I have so many Sigma brushes that I'm dying for. I need to do a brush video. That's what I need to do. So yeah, that was everything I needed to talk about in this video. It's so nice, like, going back and discovering what your favorites were from last year. I think it's very healthy to go back before, like really thinking about what your favorites are for this year to actually go back and see what your favorites were from last year because like what if none of the ones on the list are still favorites what if i don't use or like any of the items on my list and i did something wrong but i still love and use pretty much everything on that list some things i have forgotten about obviously but yeah, this was really nice. I hope more YouTubers will do this and go back and see what their old favorites were. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. The button's down below. I'm sorry that my energy is a bit low in this video, but I did do my best and I'm so happy that you're here with me watching. I will see you in my next video, which will be real soon. Bye!